Now their missing child case that we have been following for years is that of Joe Clyde Daniels. The boy disappeared five years ago and his father is now serving life in prison for his murder. But this case remains open and tonight Nick Barris with an exclusive detail interview on the Innocence Project is now possibly looking into what happened at trial. A jury did find Joseph Daniels guilty of killing his five year old son Joe Clyde and he is now locked up. There is a pending appeal and now the case may well be on the radar of an organization that looks into wrongful convictions. As to the charge of first degree murder and the perpetration of a felony crime, how does the jury find? The verdict came down more than two years ago in Dixon County. Guilty, sir. Daniels is serving 51 years in prison. Now his attorneys are finally about to file their appeal, citing several issues. We had a lot of reversible errors in the trial, and so he's advised he wants to pursue an appeal. First and foremost, the defense will argue the judge made a mistake allowing the jury to hear Daniels' confession. Why did I go Defense attorney Jake Lockhart says the confession was coerced, Daniels recanted, and that there was no evidence to support his claim that he killed Joe Clyde. On appeal, prosecution witnesses will be called again to look for inconsistency. Some of these witnesses may testify to something differently, and I'm sure that's what the defense is hoping. Meanwhile, Lockhart says the Innocence Project is watching. He says the organization, which looks for those wrongfully convicted, contacted his office to say they would like to discuss Daniels' case after his appeal. They have not responded to our request for comment, and Lockhart says the Innocence Project has not yet decided if it will take the case. But if they do, the focus will be on Daniel's words used against him at trial. Lockhart says the Innocence Project often looks at cases involving DNA evidence, but the Daniel's case, the issue will be on whether or not there was a false confession. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Now remember, this case is not closed because Joe Clyde's body has never been found. There is no physical evidence. Daniel's conviction came on the strength of witness testimony and his own confession.